Since its establishment on occupied Palestinian land, Israel has consistently relied on foreign mercenaries who come seeking revenge or financial gain in exchange for committing acts of violence. While human rights organizations actively oppose the use of mercenaries for killing on behalf of those who pay them, Jewish organizations in Europe and elsewhere work to persuade civilians to join the Israeli army, placing them on the front lines in the conflict against the Palestinians. Israel has relied on mercenaries since the early days of its establishment on Palestinian soil. The Israeli Air Force in particular has used English as its primary language instead of Hebrew, as a significant number of its personnel come from various non-Jewish backgrounds. After the 1948 war, many of them left, but a substantial number remained. Britain, the United States and Russia are classified among the countries whose citizens participate in the ranks of the Israeli forces. The initiative began with Britain and the Netherlands, where several Jewish organizations actively operate in support of the occupying state, promoting the idea of joining the ranks of the Israeli army. Tel Aviv has actively worked to establish numerous programs in collaboration with organizations recruiting volunteers for its benefit. One prominent Zionist entity in this field is the Mahal organization, boasting the enlistment of thousands of fighters from 37 countries around the world during the 1948 Palestinian-Israeli war. This institution aims to recruit volunteers from outside Israel and train them to fight within its army. Among the transcontinental Zionist organizations involved in recruiting mercenaries is the Sahel Association, which operates openly and publishes statistics on volunteers on its website without secrecy. The Lone Soldier Program is a significant reliance of Israel on mercenaries, targeting foreigners without families in Israel. While it is preferred for the soldier to be Jewish, it is not a strict requirement as acceptance into the occupying army suffices. This category of soldiers enjoys attractive salaries compared to regular soldiers and undergoes intensive military training. According to a report by the Israeli newspaper Haaretz, the army provides benefits and high wages to lone soldier category and allows them to engage in private work. In America and Europe, recruitment is conducted openly and some recruiting organizations receive support from taxpayers.